Do these five exercises every day and you will get a new heart and new brain. You will be able to be born again of God and become a spiritual person. First, switch on the Word of God every day. Because in order to change, you need to realize that there is a problem. The first step is awareness. You make a decision. I want to change. I am tired of living in constant anxiety, anger, unforgiveness and all sins. I am aware of my problem. The second step is a cut. As surgeons say, to cure a patient you first need to cut him. Cutting is about analyzing and understanding your true motives, tendencies and patterns. Why am I always negative? Why am I always depressed? Why my first reaction to everything is anger and irritation? Why do I resist, suspect, hate, not forgive? By analyzing my habitual programs of behavior, I cut my soul and take away everything negative from myself. Cutting is a confession. The third stage is a genetic process. I make my brain work, recording my revelations from God's Word, recording my repentance and my confession. By recording, neuroscientists literally mean a recording on paper, printing or a voice message. While you're writing and speaking, new divine information is being written into your mind and heart. Then the fourth. Rechecking is necessary. I double-check, reread, re-listen my notes. And the fifth. I give myself a task for today. I set goals. I overcome the acts of the flesh by the Spirit. I put off all negative emotions, malice, anger, slander, greed, laziness, envy, lust and all cravings of our flesh. Thus, I disempower these thoughts. Thought is heat energy. And if you don't throw wood into the fire, it will go out. Therefore, it is your responsibility to grow healthy trees of life in your brain and heart, holy thoughts and desires. It is your responsibility to be born again of God, of the Word of God and of His Spirit, and to grow spiritually. The Lord Jesus Christ gave us everything for this. He was crucified and He forgave us all our sins on the cross. Christ was raised from the dead and God raised us up with Christ and seated us with Him in heaven. We have the Holy Spirit, the Word of God, the body of Jesus Christ, His Church, and His Holy Blood flows in us, washing and purifying us from every sin. We can be victorious, and those who are victorious will inherit all.